Hey guys, this is Kelly and I am so excited to be here on the Crafty Maven channel um, with my first ever video and this is Scrap Lift Saturday. So I have posted the pictures that were our inspiration for this week and I am also posting the picture of Hannah's layout that I am going to be lifting. And um, the supplies that I have pulled out to use are my uh, June and July hip kits and um, a couple of things that coordinated from my stash. And I'm not sure um, exactly which sheet came with what kit or what's from my stash. So I will uh, link up all of my supplies in my blog post. So I um, decided that since the inspiration for this week was tropical and Hannah's picture on the layout that I'm lifting was tropical that I decided I needed to follow suit and I um, am going to be uh, documenting these pictures of um, these frosty drinks that my husband and I would have by the pool when we uh, were celebrating our anniversary in Cancun. And um, one of the things that I noticed with several of Hannah's layouts is that she used uh, a lot of wood grain. So I found this um, lighter wood grain color in the 6x6 pad from Simple Stories and pulled that out to use. And another one of the things that Hannah does quite a bit is use um, a lot of pattern paper as her background. And um, I love pattern paper, so I decided that that was an easy thing for me to do and lift. And um, I love both of those papers that you see right there, and I did not want to waste one single bit. So that is why I cut both of the papers to the measurements that I wanted, and I'm going to actually mount it on to the green cardstock. Um, I will use every last bit of both of those papers, so I did not want any of it to go to waste. So this layout, like, put itself together. I felt like I had the scrapbook whisperer um, like in the room with me telling me what to do. Um, and I know that sounds goofy, but um, this layout came together in 40 minutes. And the only reason it took that long was because I messed around with the wood veneer when I shouldn't have. And um, I had to paint it. And it just, that took, you know, way too much time. And, um, you know, usually my layouts take you know, an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. So to get one done this quickly was a nice surprise. So one other thing that Hannah does quite a bit in her uh, layouts is she uses uh, triangles or some maybe geometric shapes or circles. And um, I was going to see if I could get those diamonds uh, pieces from the chipboard sheet to work. But then I felt like it didn't go exactly with the background paper and thought, well, the background paper has a geometric design. So that works for one of the things that I wanted to lift as well. So I'm just trying to decide on some of my embellishments and I'll go back and forth and just kind of move things around and see what I can put where. And um, this uh, is basically the, you know, where my layout's going to end up taking me. What you see right now is about what I finished with. So I decided that I was going to ink the wood veneer and I should have just left it alone. You know, it would have been fine. But I um, inked it with this Avery L pad and I even tested it and it didn't seem quite as bright. But when I inked the whole piece, it just wasn't the right color. And I can be just a wee bit OCD when it comes to things like that. And so I am going to have to fix it. So while I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do to fix it, I'm just looking through any of the, you know, the rest of the embellishments that I had pulled and seeing if I can get anything else to work. And um, I decided to go ahead and put some foam adhesive under my picture just to give it a little bit of dimension. And because the picture is on foam adhesive and the title is on top of the picture, the, um, the title was raised up. So I wanted to put some um, 
foam adhesive behind that because I didn't want it to be unstable. And so I um, decided to put one other layer under my photo cluster and this is a little trick that I have um, seen Missy Widden do quite a few times and that I wanted to do. And it's just folding the vellum over and it just gives, you know, just a little bit of added interest. Uh, it's not a big thing that you notice, it just is a little bit of texture. I was so happy to be able to get that flamingo card used. Um, I love flamingos and you know the pineapple trends are cute but oh my goodness I have so many flamingos and pineapples you know at this point I'm never going to be able to get them all on a layout. Um, so just for me to get at least get one on a layout to start I was very happy with. So you know I'm putting the wood veneer back on and you know praying that the color changed uh, while I wasn't looking at it and it didn't so I attempted to put a different color um, pink on top just to see if maybe the two would kind of blend together um, yeah it, it didn't work so I pulled out these freckled fawn uh, gold glitter stars just to add some more gold while I was thinking about whether or not I was going to actually paint the wood veneer and I decided yeah I needed to so what I'm doing is um, I put a little bit of red, white, a pale pink, and an orange and mixing the colors just so I can get my own color um, that will match for the wood veneer. So the first layer that I did um, is a little bit too pink. I was thinking the way it started looking at first was going to be okay, but then it, it just wasn't quite right. So I needed to add more um, red and I think I even put some of the orange in and it um, actually gets to be a better color. So um, what you'll see me doing is just, you know, mixing it. Um, I'm going to try to dry this uh, layer between the pigment ink, which takes a little longer to dry, and then the acrylic. Um, I wanted to be able to just, you know, be done with this stupid wood veneer that I should have left alone. But I'm sure that you guys can um, understand that and you all have little um, embellishments or things that you feel the same way about. So I did want to take a second and just thank Hannah. Um, the starting of this channel has really filled um, a void in the scrapbooking community and I love the fact that you can come to one channel and know on which day you're going to be seeing a video about a certain topic. And um, Hannah has really put a lot of hard work in and I hope that you guys are enjoying it. And um, I know that the contributors are really enjoying uh, making the videos for it and we're just having a blast and hope that you guys um, are enjoying it as well. So I just took my little pokey tool and cleaned out some of the paint that got in between the letters of the wood veneer and that was easy. It just kind of globbed up a little bit um, but that pokey tool was able to clear it up for me. So at this point, I am pretty close to the end. I do like the way that the, these gold gl glitter stars are looking. So I am gonna go ahead and commit to putting those down. And um, I think maybe the last thing that I end up doing is taking out my gold mist and doing some sprinkles. That was the only thing that Hannah, um, that I did not do that Hannah does a lot of, is she does a lot of mixed media. And I'm probably more along the lines of 50-50 with when I do a, just leave a page alone or when I actually add mixed media to it. So when I was starting to make this page, I didn't have any preconceived notions as to where it was going. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And um, so for me, for this, the gold's um, misting was, you know, perfect. And I loved the way that the background looked so much, I didn't wanna mess it up. So I decided to take my tiny attacher and staple the banner. And of course it wouldn't be, you know, a tiny attacher if I didn't have trouble with some of the uh, 
the staples. So I get that fixed and, um, you know, get down my stars and that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to thank you guys for hanging out with me today and I hope you uh, enjoyed this and I hope to see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.